Danthon hits the red carpet for Glee, the 3D concert movie. Glee Project tests contestants' believability, and potential celebrity recaps the Teen Choice Awards. This is Just Dance for August 11th, 2011. Hey guys, it's me, Sheena. It is a gorgeous summer day here in New York City, but more importantly, I am super excited about the fact that Dance On was at the LA world premiere of Glee the 3D movie. Now, I know a lot of you guys can handle a lot of Glee in your lives, but can you handle it in 3D? <laughs> this summer movie documents the entire tour across the United States and Europe of the Glee cast. Dance On was there. Let's check out what went down. How was it adapting the choreography for the tour? Um, well, we actually had two and a half days to put the show on its feet. Uh, so we had a great group of dancers that uh, worked as sort of a skeleton crew that we sort of intertwined the whole show and, and set it all on them and then showed the cast and then sat back and crossed our fingers. <laughs> if you missed the tour or you want to relive it in 3D, this movie hits theaters tomorrow, August 12th. The more I've been watching The Glee Project, the more I absolutely love it. I can't wait to find out if there's going to be a second season. It seems producers are in talks for it, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Right now, we are down to the final five, only two more episodes left. Who is going to take away that spot on the third season of Glee? Tell us about when you when Zach tested your dance skills. How, how was that? Oh, Zach's always pushing us. It was, it was great. I needed it. I really did need it to see where I was, where I was with dancing, and how far I could push myself and become better of a dancer. What has been the hardest challenge you've had the whole season? It would have probably been tenacity with the slushies and the dancing on the floor, and yeah, that was pretty hard. Honestly, I think the lesson that I've walked away from is, I've walked away with is just know who you are and know that you're good enough and just be confident and believe in yourself. As cheesy as that sounds, that's really what I've learned. What did we think of the long-awaited Teen Choice Awards? We've been keeping tabs with Kevin from The Scorpion Show and also potential celebrity Mia, who we're going to throw this to right now for her thoughts on some of the winners. Hey guys, it's Mia, um, potential celebrity, and I'm back to tell you about the TCA winners. Best reality female star went to Kim Kardashian. We all wanted Lorianne Gibson to win for her new reality TV dance show. So you think you can dance is Kat Daly, the host. She presented an award and she looked beautiful, gorgeous as ever. Ultimate Choice went to Taylor Swift and you can tell in her acceptance speech that she's very genuine. She was very thankful. Rebecca Black won Choice Web Star. No comment. And TV comedy for the second year in a row went to Glee. Ever since the season finale with Lady Gaga on Saturday Night Live, I have been craving a new episode. Enough with the reruns. Well, my wish is about to come true. The 37th season is about to drop its premiere episode being hosted by Alec Baldwin. Once Alec hosts this episode, he will be at 16 times hosting the show, surpassing the record held by Steve Martin. Everybody knows the famous line, nobody puts baby in a corner. Well, you're about to hear it again because the Dirty Dancing classic is about to be remade by director Kenny Ortega, who was the choreographer for the original 1987 classic, which is pretty cool. We'll see his new spin on it. What I'm really excited about is the casting. Who is going to play Baby? Let me know who you think would be a good choice. Nifty comment box. Last week on So You Think You Can Dance, the top six performed for Christina Applegate and Lil C. In my opinion, this is some of the best choreography and the most heartfelt performances of the entire season. Love Sonia Taya's jazz routine featuring Caitlin and Marco. Tice DiOrio came out with an awesome contemporary piece using Sasha, All Star, Kent, and The Wall. And also, I think Spencer Lift really proved himself as a choreographer with the Broadway routine between Melanie and Tad. In the end, we had to say goodbye to Caitlin and Ricky. Great dancing, guys, and we'll see you on tour. Let's see what happened when Dance On ran into our final four on the red carpet of the Glee movie premiere. Did you guys like even feel the past month? I feel like it went by like that. So quickly. I don't know. I'm so surprised that it, there's only a week left. Yeah. We're definitely just trying to soak it in, trying to enjoy this last week that we have. 
And then go on tour, baby. Yeah. And, uh, don't forget to buy a ticket. So excited for tour. So excited. Last night, our top four had the biggest night of their lives, dancing for the grand prize of $250,000 and the title of America's Favorite Dancer. Click here to check out what they had to say. Well, it wouldn't be summer if you didn't spend at least one day just chilling out at the pool all day, and that's exactly what this next music video makes me want to do. It's entitled Different by singer-songwriter Jimena Serignana. And choreographer Michael Rooney brings tons of fun to the music video by adding in synchronized swimming, a little boy with flippers dancing around, old ladies lunching at the pool. It's just super cute and you have to check it out. love this song, you can head on over to iTunes and purchase Jimena's new album. Give me a little thumbs up down there if you want. Subscribe to Dance On. And until next Thursday when I bring you the next Just Dance episode, get outside, it's summer, go get in the pool.